Happy Independence, friends. This is Laura with Papori of Life. It's a glorious day in New Hampshire to celebrate our country's birthday. Yes. What am I doing today? I have no idea. My husband is coming home earlier, so that's good. I'll see him before the end of the day. Well, I'll see him like probably before lunchtime. I didn't plan on having anything, so I don't have anything defrosted. So we'll probably just have veggies or whatever. Or my grandson's called, and the oldest asked me, Grammy, can you come over? I think he wants to show me his new pool. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Today is a day off for him as well, and his mom, and his brother. So they just want to get together. But I did get a chance to talk to them on FaceTime. I wake up, and actually it started last night. I went to bed. I tried to go to bed. <laughs> My husband goes to bed early when he has to get up early. And uh, the fireworks, 9.30 sharp. They were going off in multiple locations in our neighborhood. And it was hard for me because people who know that I have a sound sensitivity, <laughs> this is driving me nuts. So I went downstairs and I did some laundry and it felt like things were, what, you, the bombs, <laughs> I call them bombs, sorry. The loud noises were vibrating on my deck and I'm like, who's on my deck? <laughs> I had to remember, it's the fireworks. So we had some on just different areas throughout the town, really close by. And tonight there'll be more other areas of the city but that was where the celebrations start people just love to celebrate and this is awesome I do believe people want to be united I honestly believe that I believe that people want to be united and come together and everybody agree and I think the part that's been the hardest over the last few years is that we have learned that we don't always agree but we, what we haven't um, exercised is our freedom to believe differently from one another and respect those differences. I wasn't sure how I wanted to approach today because it is a holiday. It's a day to celebrate. I have tried maybe 10 times to do this video today, so far. <laughs> and the reason is, is because I don't know where our American spirit really is. I know a lot of my military friends, military families, others that didn't serve but honored others and I mean I didn't serve in the service but I served my military men and women who came and needed some work done to their uniforms. Does that make me better? No. And that's not what I'm implying. All I'm saying is that we live in a country where we get to exercise our freedom. Our freedom. And yet over the last few years it seems like that's being stripped away. So the division is coming through because people feel like they're not being heard. You're being heard. Your right as American citizens is not being taken away. In the Pledge of Allegiance we talk about um, the United States. We're united. If you are a citizen of, Ameri of America, you are united. You might, there's different states. United States of America. We're divided by states. And yet, I'm seeing that we're divided by a number of other things. This is why this one's hard for me because We talk about, you know, in our Pledge of Allegiance, we talk about God. We honor God. Now, it doesn't mean that everybody is a Christian or a Catholic, and this is where the confusion comes in. Under God, it's talking about a higher power, so it's inclusive of everybody. The Indians. The, the people who believe in Mother Earth. 
you know, and I kind of understand all the different ways of believing. And I kind of connect with the American Indian. I, I do have some American Indian in my DNA. Not a lot. But I have French. I have English. But I see myself as an American. But I connect with people that believe differently than me. You know, when we go to church, Christians, we can be divided there, too. I like to think that we're not, but we can be divided. So as American citizens, when not everybody is a Christian, we have a more opportune moment to be divided. There's no reason for that. We've come become a nation of Gossip, gossipers, yeah. We take somebody's history and we defame who they are. We, we just, we don't honor the growth that they may have made throughout the years. When we have children, they don't come out perfect. They need us a lot for the first year. That infant needs their mom so much. And children make mistakes, so what are we doing? We're disciplining them. We're loving them. We're teaching them how to be good citizens, regardless of what country you're in. We're teaching them how to be honorable children. If we're not, I'm really kind of disappointed, but we should be. And as the kids grow, they get into high school, they rebel or they make mistakes, they learn from those, those um, lessons, they're disciplined, because that's our responsibility as parents is to teach. They go to college, they learn, they expand their knowledge, they go out into the working world, and you know what? every stage of our lives we're learning we're making mistakes and hopefully we're learning from those mistakes talking with my daughter yesterday my youngest and she was saying um, she says I don't always agree with you I said I don't always agree with you either <laughs> but you know what we have in common we respect each other now it, I just feel like when she became an adult, she gets to make choices. And at that point, she can make mistakes or she can make choices that are not a mistake for her. Has nothing to do with me at this point, other than it's a joy to spend time with her. And you know what? Even though we have differences, I still respect her. We both respect each other. And our love for each other is even greater. As American citizens, we should be respecting each other and our viewpoints. We shouldn't be fighting. I used to, my girls hated this when I did this. When my girls had arguments, and they didn't have very many. Honestly, they didn't. And I think this is the reason why. Well, kind of, they told me it was. I didn't like arguing because it was like battling back and forth where nobody is even communicating. We're just yelling at each other so when they did that I said okay come here and they go why they weren't in trouble because you know they were having a conflict well maybe they weren't in trouble I said sit down so they would sit down at the kitchen table and I said now we're gonna have a conversation where each of you get to say what's on your mind the other person can't intervene so and that was hard for them so they would say their viewpoint. If one interrupted, I said, wait, you're going to get your turn. So they each had their turn. After they shared what was going on, I said, okay, now I want you to tell me how you feel about what the other person said. And of course, you know, that was an emotional time too. So once all those feelings got out, 
I said, okay, now, how do we resolve this? And they go, what do you mean? How are you going to make your differences complement each other <clears throat> so that you guys can work together and get along? <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, goodness, they shared a bedroom. <laughs> we did have a wall. We put a wall so they could have their own bedroom. But still, they shared the same space. Eventually, and that I only had to do like two times. I think the third time they said, no, mom, we'll figure it out. <laughs> because they didn't want me to intervene. But it seems like in our world, we have a Adults that can't do what teenage girls were able to do. <clears throat> the only critique I got from my girls was when they got to college as well as when they started the workforce. They said, Mom, the only thing we didn't like about what you taught us is you didn't tell us that other people do not believe in conflict resolution. They're right. I was teaching them something that would be so valuable in their life. Huh. But it doesn't work in our world, does it? And it should. Under God, we all have our own belief system. You're included in our country. Your faith is honored. Your choices are honored. We might not like them. But you're a human being making choices. <clears throat> you know, the, the only thing is when you do something wrong, in terms of if you kill somebody, there's a punishment. But if you don't agree when you cast your ballot, no one goes to prison for that. That's just casting your viewpoints. And as responsible American citizens, we need to know who we're voting for and the parties that we're voting for. I don't consider myself Republican or Democrat. I'm not even independent, even though that's what's on my thing. I consider myself an American citizen who takes the time to read people's history, people's um, ideology, where they're coming from, what are their goals, that's our responsibility. That's the responsibility of our news people too, to present that to us. Because we should have the freedom to choose based on actual facts, on actual truth. Yet, people are human. I'm human. We make mistakes. I like to believe they would not intentionally keep things from us, but we're learning that that's what's happening. I guess what I want to say, and it was hard to actually talk to you today on Independence Day, because I wanted it to be an upbeat thing, and it's just every time I started talking, I'm like, People are going to go and celebrate. And I want everybody to enjoy their holiday. I have a neighbor that goes in with his family to their camp. And they just love the 4th of July. They all served. They understand what it means to be American. They understand the sacrifice We have another neighbor that is setting up for some family time. They got the balloons out and all that. We have neighbors that are mowing their lawn and getting things all set up. I hear kids down at the park, a little down the way. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but they're playing tennis. A mom was going for a walk with her little boy. She goes by every day taking the dog for a walk <laughs> and she was on her way home and I've never seen this happen to him he did not want to go home he wanted to still go for a walk it's a gorgeous day I don't blame him life is happening around us 
real life. The mom listened to her son and she, and she let him have his little temper tantrum. And it was short-lived, honestly. And I was impressed with that. And then she says, no, we have to. And, you know, she had a conversation with him. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I'm just, I want to see, my desire, my heart's desire is to see our country become unified again. United. You know, when we vote for people, they're supposed to take our, our needs into account. And yet, everybody has a different view of what our needs are. Because we don't all see eye to eye. More recently, the court ruling on Roe versus Wade. And I did, um, I did present, I did a video on that. And, you know, I have, I have to, in my heart, trust a woman for her choice. Do I agree with it? No. Does that mean I don't love them? No. Because I think that if we're going to have, you know, the freedom to have sex, however, even if you're using multiple birth control, um... We need to be responsible still. Now, if you're freely having that, that's your freedom. That's your right. So, I personally see that you're taking the right for life from that little child. Now, there are circumstances that I understand. I really do. And I will link to that other video below, but I just think that we need to honor one another even when we have differences of opinion. We can, um, we have gun laws that people are trying to banish. We have birth laws that they're trying to banish. We have people trying to force um, health decisions on people. We have freedoms to make choices. And I think some of the conflict that goes through my head, and you don't have to agree with me, you'll, and I've heard the argument from other people, is that we don't have a freedom to choose or not to choose a vaccine when in fact we do we do and that is because um, people may have religious reasons some people may have health reasons we need to have choices and with that those same people who are saying you need the vaccine for the common good of all are saying that we don't have the okay we have the right to say no to carrying a child for nine months we have people saying we don't have the right to carry a gun or to, have, or to own one do you see how messed up this all is it's not a hundred percent agreement so we're divided and there's a lot of other things those are just the top three if you want to choose whether to bring a child into this world or not that's a choice how you go about it is up to you my choice was never to abort a child, so I we we did birth control until we were ready to have kids. And a lot of people say, well, that's old-fashioned. It's not old-fashioned. That was my moral responsibility, and I knew that if I got pregnant, even though I did that, I would still take the child in. You know, I would still give birth to this child. That was just my view. 
And there was a time where it's like, but what if somebody else did something? <clears throat> you know, so that's why I'm kind of open-minded. I'm open-minded about people's faith because that's what makes them who they are. Choosing whether to bring a child into this world or not, that's your choice. And that's what makes you who you are. No judgment. To get a vaccine or not is a choice. Having, owning, carrying a gun is a choice. These are American rights. And I know a lot of women are saying, well, they're not going to keep it safe for women. They will. There's a way. What I find really sad is that insurances do not cover abortion, but they'll ship women across state lines. They will pay for it. Let that sink in. My view is very... I am very confused by our country. <laughs> very confused. We need to have choices. Vaccines. There are some vaccines that have been tested and have proven to be effective. Now, over the years, they have changed them. The side effects, I won't even get into here. But... They have been effective. This emergency use authorization, I understood it at the onset. But right now, I don't. They're trying to get it in there. So those are some of our rights being taken away as parents, as individuals. People don't want people to have guns because of events that have occurred. I, I think our country needs to sit down and have a little powwow similar to what my daughters did. They weren't allowed to argue. They weren't allowed to say things like, I hope you die. They weren't allowed to be unkind. When they left the table, there was resolution. They still might not have agreed, but they walked away and there was resolution and we didn't hear any more arguing after. And the fact that when they were having a disagreement, I said, okay, girls, let's go. No, we don't want you to intervene, Mom. We're going to take care of this on our own. You know what? That was a moment of growth. America, we need to grow up. I don't care how old you are. You need to grow up. Accept each other's beliefs. Accept each other's values. But honor them, too. Honor them. Well, I'm not going to keep chattering on because I actually didn't think I'd talk very long today because I had a hard time coming on here because of what I've shared. But I love America. I am proud to be an American citizen. I am proud to have worked on the numerous uniforms for our mil military men and women. Honored. I am honored to fly a flag in my yard. I am honored to be a part of a family that believes in our American freedom. I am an American citizen who believes in America and I believe that we can change, but we have to grow up, have a little powwow, sit down, no arguing, let's just move on and get some results done so that everybody can get those that are in office to listen to both sides and come to a resolution because that is what America is all about. Have a great time at your activities. If you're home, uh, I don't know if we're gardening or what we're doing. That's what we were talking about. Things could change. Enjoy the fireworks if you go out. If you have TV, enjoy them on screen. Let's see. I do kind of wish we had the TV for that. But I got the internet. Um, enjoy your day. Enjoy the people around you. Don't have a fab family argument. Instead, 
find something good about everybody you meet today. Celebrate them and celebrate your relationships with them. Have a fabulous day. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. God bless.